Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to get custom scripts in uh, Cinema 4D to kind of basically right here you can see my logo it's kind of as this thing that when you click on it it instantly opens up uh, Motex that automatically says erosion with uh, fillet caps on it now the only downside to actually doing this is that you cannot uh, pick you cannot make it automatically take up the specific font you gotta go change the font manually after but yeah so let's get right into it so in the description of this video uh, you should see something like this basically you're just gonna copy it all you're gonna copy it and now back in Cinema 4D you're gonna go over to window you're gonna go down to you're gonna go to script manager and you're gonna click new and you can name it whatever you want. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to name it tutorial. Tutorial. And right in this area, you're just going to paste that uh, code thing. And right here, where it says change, you can change that to whatever you like. And basically, that's just going to be the default text that's going to come up. So for this tutorial, I'm just going to write tutorial and right here is where you can change the uh, fillet caps so I'm just gonna change these to one and uh, these to five and now what you can do is you can load an icon for what it's gonna look like here so you just go load icon And uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to take some random thing I have on my desktop. So I'm just going to take this. So as you can see, it comes up with the logo right there. And now what you can do is just click Save All. So it will save it. And now, just at the bottom here, you're going to click Shortcut. And then this should come up right here with your uh, the script you just made and you're just gonna click and drag it over to your uh, Cinema 40 like so now um, as you can see it's right there and now basically when you're gonna close Cinema 40 and then reopen it later it's gonna be it's, it's gonna disappear so what you wanna do is go to window layout save layout as startup I mean, save layout as and then you're just gonna name it whatever you want and then you're gonna go back to Windows layout and click save as startup layout so now whenever you open it it will be there so thanks for watching this tutorial guys please like and comment and I will be coming out with more tutorials soon so yeah thanks goodbye